Hello, Christus family. I greet you today with the joyful love of God in my heart. I pray that God's joy is with you as well. I first heard about the joyful love of God from a dear sister of St. Joseph. We were reflecting on a tough day at work and were desperately trying to be positive without much success. This was a little distressing as we both felt an unspoken job duty was that we had to be happy no matter what was going on. As we talked, she reminded me that we had no choice but to be joyful. The joyful love of God was within us, and we just had to look within ourselves to let it out. I have reflected on this often as we have faced the realities that have been presented around our global community this year. There have been some days when it has been harder to find this joy. But in an unexpected moment, I was reminded immediately that God was with me and that he calls us to be joyful in the midst of it all. I had one of these moments a few weeks ago. Thanks to the care and generosity of Christus, I was able to get the COVID vaccine. This allowed me to go home to visit my parents after 16 months of quarantine. It seemed like an eternity, and it felt so good to hug my parents and tell them I loved them. There were tears and some silence as we reconnected once again as a family. My heart was bursting. Like every visit, my mom immediately put me to work, going through stacks of stuff to determine if they would continue to be a part of the family archive. There were hundreds of pictures from my childhood. As I looked through them, I was brought back instantly to those moments. I remembered my stuffed monkey, my partner in crime, as we went on adventures around the ranch. I laughed as I saw all of us kids dressed up in our Halloween costumes, ready to gather loads of candy that would ensure a prosperous year for our dentist. And finally, a random picture of me cuddling with my parents on the couch after they had come home from a long day of work. These pictures led to conversations with my parents that I will always carry in my heart. The best part is that I got to bring these pictures back with me and shared them with my own children. After the heaviness of a long, unprecedented year, the joyful love of God endured and flourished. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. My challenge to you is to reflect on the joyful moments that God has gifted you. What are those moments that have brought joy to your heart? Sit with them and let them bring a smile to your face. But please do not stop there. Share these moments with others to inspire them to reflect on their own joy. Let us be multipliers of joy for our family, friends, fellow associates, and community. Together, we can start the joyful love of God movement across Christus. Will you join me? Can I join you? My prayer for all of you today is, may the joyful love of God be with you in all the moments of your life. May his love bring a smile to your face and peace to your heart. And may the joy within you overflow to be God's healing presence and love to all you encounter. In God's holy name we pray. Amen.